Hello student, myself Kinjan Mistri. I am lecturer in computer department of PPMB Polytechnic. Welcome to online video session. Today my topic name is Tax Box, Numerical Up-Down Control and Group Box Controls. And chapter name is Introduction to Window Common Controls. In this video lecture, we learn the following topic. In first introduction, Tax Box Control. Then we discuss properties event and method of tax box control then we show the example of tax box control then we discuss numerical up down controls then we discuss properties events and method of numerical up down controls then we show example of numerical up down controls last we uh, discuss group box control now what is tax box control the tax box control is used to get input from the user or to display tax. It is the most common controller of window form. Tax box can display multiple line web text to the size of the control and add basic formatting. The key property of tax box are tax, multi-line and power, pa password care. User can enter up to 2048 character in a tax box. And if we select multi-line property to draw, user can enter 32 KB of text. Now this is the common properties of tag box control. First property name is line. It is used to get or set the line of a text in a tax box control. Second property name is multi-line. It is used to get or set the value indicate whether this is multi-line tax box control now this is the key property of tax box control next property is password care it is also a key property of tax box control it is used to get or set the character used to mask character of a password in a single line tax box control now next property is tax it is also a key property of tax box control it is used to get or set the tax associated with this control. Now next property is read only. It is indicate whether the tax in a control is read only. The next property name is tax align. It is used to get or set how tax is aligned in a tax box control. This property has value right, center or left. Now next property is name. It is used to the give the name of this control. This is the common event of tax box control. First event is click. It is occurs when the user click the tax box control. Second event is double click. It is used to occurs when the user is double click the tax box control. And last event is tax change. It is occurs when the tax property value change. This is the common methods of tax box control. First method is append tax. It is used to append the tax to the current tax of a tax box. Second method is clear. It is clear all the tax in the control. Then third method is copy. It is copy the current value of a tax box control. Now next method is cut. Cut, uh, cut method used to move the current selection in a text box to the clipboard. And last uh, method name is past. Uh, paste is used to replace the current selection in a text box with the content of the clipboard. This is the simple example of text box control. Now it perform the visual studio. Now open Visual Studio. Now first drag and drop one label control in the uh, toolbox. We write the some text in text property of label control. Enter any value enter any value now we drag and drop text box control in text box in window form
this is a text box control now drag and drop in a window form another we drag and drop label control now we enter any value of text box control it show the label to now increase the font value of label message so we change the font size in using font property Now, we, in this small application, now we enter the any value of text box, then it is show the message or value in label 2. Now, we click, now we click the text box control and write the coding. Now, we click the text box control, the text change event is occurs. Now, our output message is display in label, so we write coding in label control label to dot text is equal to we write some message the enter rate the enter value is this is our message and the output is collect the text box so we using concatenation operator and percent and write text box one dot text. This is our coding to display the message of label two. We change this. We enter the any value of text box. Now save this coding and run window form. This is our output window. Now we enter the number 465. So label is show the message. The enter value is 465. This is the small application, small program of text box control. Now next control is numerical up down control. A numerical up down control allow user to provide a spin up and down interface to move through the predefined number using up and down arrow. It is the most common controller of window form. This controller does not support the text property. This controller display a number with up and down arrow that change the value. The user can in increment and decrement the number by clicking up and down button by pressing the up and down arrow key or by typing a number. Clicking the up arrow, the key move the value toward the maximum. Now clicking the down arrow key move the value to the minimum. This kind of control might be useful for a volume control on a musical player. The key property of this controller is value, maximum, minimum and increment by default we use maximum property its value is 100 now we use minimum property its default value is 1 and we use increment property its default value is also 1 this is the common property of numerical up down control now first property name is increment it is the key property of numerical up down control it is used to get or set the value to increment or decrement the numerical up down control second property name is maximum it is set the maximum value of this control now next pro property name is minimum it is used to set the minimum value of this control now next property name is up down align it is set the position the arrow bottom on the left or the right side of this control it default value is right side. Now next property name is value. 
it is represent the currently selected value now next property name is name it is used to give the name to this control this is the common method name of numerical up down control now first method name is refresh it is used to force the numerical up down to invalidation it client area and immediately redraw now second method name is focus it is used to set the focus to the numerical up down control now next is select it is used to activate the numerical up down control now next method name is show it is used to display the numerical up down control and last method name is hide it is used to hide the numerical up down control to the user this is the common event name of numerical up down control first event is click it is occurs when the user is click the numerical up down control second is double click it is occurs when the user is double click the numerical up down control and mostly commonly used the event is value change it is occurs when the value of the value property change this is the small application of numerical up down control now we perform the visual studio now open the visual studio then we take label in window form we write select any number select any number and also we change font using font property of this label control now we drag and drop numerical up down controller this is your numerical up down controller we drag and drop in window form this is the numerical up down controller we show the up and down key and by default it value is 0 now in the property of numerical up down controller the increment using the one now the another key property minimum and maximum minimum value default zero now we change one now the maximum value is 100 now this property value we change we write 20 value now we another label control in drag and drop this window form now we change the any value of numerical up down controller it show the number in label control now we double click the numerical up down controller and write the code we display the message in label control see show we write label two dot text is equal to first give the message the selected value is selected value name sorry selected number is is this is our message now the number is selected using numerical up down control so we concate the message and value of numerical up down control so we using concatenation operator and percent and take the value of numerical up down control so we write numerical up down control one dot its property name of value now save this coding and run the run this window form this is our output window now numerical up down control by default it gives the value 1 now we change the value 2 so, so label is display the message the selected number is 2 now we again click up arrow so the label is display the message the selected number is 3 now we click the up arrow the number value is increase 
quantities increasing value is 20 still 20 now we click the down arrow the numerical up down value is decreasing and label is so the decreasing value of numerical up down controller this is the small application of numerical up down control now last controller is group box control a group box control is a container control that is used to place a window form child control in a group a group box controller are used to subdivide a form by a function the purpose of group box is to define user interface when whenever we we can categories related control in a group the group box control is similar to the panel control only the group box control display the caption means message and only panel control can have scroll bar this is the image of group box controller it is divide the uh, win it is the divide the window form in two parts parents and child part now we open the visual studio and perform some example of group box now open toolbox the group box is show the toolbox in container path this is the group box controller we drag and drop the group box now we drag and drop the group box controller it is divide the two part of our form now it is support the text property so we write the any message to the group box we write result now we change the color so we using back color so it is the dividing our form in two parts it is the simple use of group box to divide the our form in two parts as a container form thank you